Okay, sorry about all that. Uh, my phone actually ran out of disk space, so we had to clear things up, but we are back. So what we're doing here again is we're going to do a simple uh, Viswar test uh, using the 150 watt amplifier and uh, the uh, RF382A 400 watt coupler with no antennas on the on on the output. This is quite fine for most frequencies. Uh, it'll be fine, and we'll hopefully we'll hear the thing tune around and, and search for a, for a matching solution. So basically, we go into the Viswar test and. Um, we can set a frequency, so I'm going to set a frequency just totally randomly to, uh, you know, let's see, zero, four megahertz. Okay, so what, I don't know, I hope you could hear the coupler tuning around. I'll, I'll, I'll put the mic close to the coupler. But what you see here is the power met, was measured at 137 watts, and it reached a one, and it solved a 1.0 to 1 uh, solution um, match, uh, which is interesting, right? With no antenna, uh, really tells you that it was probably completely resistive or uh, or something to that effect. So we can uh, we can try another frequency here. Let's try. Okay, so I'm going to try 14 megahertz, just to something different because if you do the same frequency, the uh, coupler remembers the, the uh, L's and C's. So it doesn't uh, actually do much. So this time I'm going to put, I'm going to see if you can hear it. I'm going to rest it on here. Uh, hopefully that came through. The audio came through. And once again, 128 watts, 1.4 to 1. Not too bad. Uh, now I'll, I'll run it again so you can see how quickly it runs uh, when you use the same frequency. So when you do the exact same 14 megahertz again, you'll see it's very, very quick. That's it. It remembered, uh, remembered everything. So this all seems good. Um, let me, uh, let's get out of here. And let's see what we're going to do next. Um, we can go through some uh, byte tests or bit tests. There's no equipment. Now this is uh this is we'll do this later. Pre post external PA a coupler. Let's do a whole system test. I'll turn the turn the speaker off. It's kind of loud. Test passed. Okay, the other thing I wanted to show you, which I think is pretty neat, uh, if you go to the pro programming mode, which is this button here, you go to config, it's all kinds of, this radio's got tons of interesting menu options. Go to config, and let's see, what do we want here? We want accessory. So here I was telling you earlier about the uh, the output uh, and and how you can choose uh, between the high voltage uh, high voltage and the and the 50 ohm and here's that here's the menu option right here so you can for the 5382A high voltage or 50 ohm high voltage or 50 ohm now it's not actually connected at this time but that's how you would do it okay. All right, that's basically it. Um, the only thing I, other thing I could do is connect up uh, my uh, watt meter dummy load just to see how accurate uh, it is, but I, I don't think that's really necessary. So let's just, we'll do one more test here. Uh, Viswar. And you might see the word ping there. Yes, this, this radio actually does support TCP IP. Uh, and you can connect up an Ethernet connection uh, here through the accessory port. 
and uh, put it on networks. And, um, you know, it's, that's a little beyond what I've had any time to play with, but it's on my list. So let's do two megahertz. 137 watts. All right, looks pretty good. That's, uh, we'll pause for now and come back in a little while.